A hurdle that I've faced as an entrepreneur is, uh, well, there's been several, but uh, I think the biggest one to date is last year when um, my business partner stepped away from the business. Uh, Heather Wilson is our guest today on Callum Connect's micro podcast. Heather is the founder and CEO of Cheetah Fusion Creative Agency and has been an entrepreneur for over eight years. A hurdle that I've faced as an entrepreneur is, uh, well, there's been several, but uh, I think the biggest one to date is last year when um, my business partner stepped away from the business. Um, it, it was really challenging. It was having to uh, pivot and um, figure out what this was going to look like. I wasn't in a position, uh, mostly for my clients' sake, to completely step away from the business myself and close the business. Um, and, you know, without a partner, that's kind of my other, um, that's the person, that's my sounding board. That's the person that we bounced ideas around. Um, we played off of each other's strengths and, and our gaps. And so it, it really took a lot to think about what this was going to look like. So um, how did I overcome it? It was more about kind of getting back to why I was doing what I, I love and what I'm doing, um, why I was doing it. Uh, it's not for, you know, for the reasons that one might think. It really is um, for the love of our clients. It was... There, I have deep passion for the, the, what we do and how we support our clients. Um, it really did mean though that I had to um, sort of remap the business, how it was going to look with just me and my small team. Um, the other challenge was is communicating this out to our clients, to uh, the team and um, making sure that the that it it um, it didn't shed any uh, poor light on on any which uh, person involved, right? So I think that's really those were the the biggest parts of this. Were yes, now we've got to kind of remap, rejig, and figure out what the team looks like maybe look for someone to fill the hole that my business partner was actually um, completing. So I was able to do that. But, you know, at the end of the day, that when, when you have a partner and you don't have them, there's a bit of a hole or a gap left. So um, it's been a bit of a journey and uh, in not so much overcoming it, but I've learned a lot about myself and my tenacity and my ability to pick up the pieces and keep moving to communicate in a positive way the changes that are happening, how I'm going to take responsibility and how I'm going to uh, continue to um, embrace and, and make positive change uh, for the greater good, right? For the team, for, for our clients and ensure that there was little to no disruption. I think that was the biggest thing was learning how to navigate this new path um, and uh, and go from two to one and then our team was so great um, they really did um, kind of roll up their sleeves and dig in and I think those were those were really good moments of just recognizing that what we could each do and bring to the table to overcome this obstacle If you enjoyed this podcast and would like to find more inspiring information about entrepreneurs around the world doing incredible things, make your way to enterprisezone.cc.